what's going on everybody this is Smitty here and in this video talking about the length of the gameplay for uh, the order 1886 I know from the title of the video here it's saying is it too short to be good you know um, and this is this is a point that I wanted to touch on using a few different examples here so I'm gonna jump right into it I know we've seen we've seen all the buzz about you know the order and and the game was beat between three five and seven hours thus far so as you can see here this website how long to beat dot com I'm gonna link it in the description it gave me a lot of good insight on some of these games I'm about to go through here real quickly uh, but main things here I want to point out is this is the thing the order this is the first of its kind okay this is like the point A to point B kind of game that falls in the lines of like the old school games in terms of the principle here we're talking now uh, your final fight double dragon streets of rage you know uh, golden axe captain commando I mean you know all those different kind of games those side scrolling fighters like Simpsons and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and X-Men and at the arcade and all that so it goes in that line but this is you know it, it, it's its own cinematic blend but the blend between cinematic cutscenes quick time events and user interactivity with the control scheme and all that so it's it's unique it's unique in that way but um like I was going into here with Devil May Cry okay this is a game that in nature is in the same 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 realm but Look at this. This is the first game of its kind, and look at the average time it it took to beat the game. But then, if somebody just rushed through and beat the game, 55 minutes and then five hours. You know. Now, if you now if you heard people now if you seen people posting, all oh, this game can be beaten one hour. Now, would that take away from you wanting to purchase this game? Now, to a lot of people, yeah, it would. It would, no doubt. And I mean. Don't get me wrong for one second. This game, these games are directly alike because, as far as we know, there's no DLC. Okay, like we know, I'm not discounting any of that. So let me make that crystal clear. We know there's no DLC. We know that there, well, at least at this point, we don't know if there's going to be any additional story latched on to add more depth. But outside of beating the game, playing it through and beating the game, there's no extra additional depth to keep you engaged to the fullest extent especially considering this is a big triple a title and there was a there was a moderate amount of hype around it it wasn't hyped up for years it wasn't hyped up like Watch Dogs or something like that you know what i'm saying but it, it had a fair amount of hype around it and for it not to uh have a lot of things we're used to getting now when it comes to when it comes to these games it is a big letdown and it is a big disappointment so when you hear reports of these review copies and these reviewers coming up saying oh I beat it in a handful of hours that is going to be a disappointment from that perspective but looking at this here even though this game even though this game in this series you have games where this game was beat in a handful of hours looking at parts one and two would you take both either one of these games and say, no, nah, these games are a waste. I ain't even going to bother playing. They're not worth the $50 price tag because they could be beaten five hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably would still play it. It's possible you may play it. You may not play it if you heard that. But if you see the game in action and you see people playing it, enjoying it, and what's going on in the game, i.e. playing a demo, of some sort of the game which I believe every company should be dropping and you know, that's something that I, I hate that many companies go away from but um, this is something that would help people play it and then be like you know what the game may not be all that long but I'm still gonna check it out anyway because this is pretty cool so that's one thing you know that it the in-game action may keep you that may be the draw and then now when you look at this game the third it got to the it wasn't until the third effort here where you actually got the depth 
you know, you actually had a good amount of depth. Like, just from the main story alone, the median was 12 hours for the average player. Even when people rushed through it, it took them 8 hours. You know what I'm saying? Well, it took them nearly 9 hours, excuse me, to beat the game. So, when you look at the extras and then people that wanted to get all extra special with completing everything, you know what I'm saying? That, those numbers absolutely are dramatically higher than where they were from the very first effort. So, same thing with order. First game may not have the mind-boggling death, you know, in terms of the numbers and how long it may take to complete it, but then they can go from the first game, and when it comes to the second game, they can take that leap and do a lot more things, so then it can mess around. Instead of it taking a third game, they can get to these kind of numbers in terms of adding that kind of depth going forward. But not gonna be before you guys too much longer here with this, but just wanna make just wanna make another point here. This is another game that caught a lot of hype. Tomb Raider. Okay? Now this is a game, not necessarily point A to point B kind of game, but this is a game in the generation of gaming that where games sixty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Sixty you know, you sixty dollars a pop. Received a lot of buzz, received the E three hype and all that. But if you heard from a reviewer that this game can be beat in five or six hours, you see what I'm saying? Would you not want to still try this game out? Or would you just say, oh, I'm going to wait until, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to wait until it come out, on, you know, uh, when the price dropped to 15, 20 bucks, then I'll check it out. Yeah, you're going to have some people out do it, but would the majority do that, though? You see what I'm saying? Especially when it's Tomb Raider in a whole different way that not not that we're accustomed to. You're still going to have people anyways that are going to jump up and say, yo, I got to get this game. I got to try this thing out. Same thing with and same thing with same thing with Un- Un- Uncharted. If you heard this game can be beaten six hours, a little over six hours for all the de- and this was like I said, I mean, we're looking at part three, but if you look at part one, five and a half hours, this was something, this was, I think this came out right when PS4 had, I mean, excuse me, PS3 had came out a little bit after or something like that. If this is something that's unique, something new, that's fresh, people are going to play it and say, yo, I'm going to have to check this thing out. I'm going to have to see what this is about. You know what I mean? And that's what, that's the same deal when you look at Bayonetta, same deal here. It it is along the lines of a Devil May Cry, but it still is different in the way the game is played, in terms of the story, in terms of the dynamics in it. And this is the same and once again, on PS three, you could have somebody that had this game on PS three and say, I beat it in four and a half hours. You know what I'm saying? But people could still see this game and say, Yo, I gotta check this thing out. You know what I'm saying? Even if it didn't have a bunch of DLC and extra content and extra modes and all that, even if it was just bare bones, you're still going to have people that will say, hey, you know what, even though it wasn't that long, I still did enjoy it and it was worth the 60 bucks. But they need to do XYZ in addition on the next game. You know, and that's what I'm saying. So it's to each its own at the end of the day. But I just wanted to give my extra, you know, my my perspective in terms of what, how I felt in regards of all of it. So I feel that I feel that the order will be a good game. Um, it's just that will it have a lot of life after you beat the game? I don't think so, uh, especially if there's no kind of DLC added on in any capacity outside of pre-order DLC, I mean, you know, you need to have a bit, you need to definitely have more than that, more depth to the game, okay, so I'm going to end the video here, guys, uh, if you enjoyed it, definitely subscribe, you know, um, like the video, share the video, definitely check out this website if you want to learn about games and completion and all that good stuff, especially if it's a game you're considering purchasing, too. So that way, especially if you're looking for a game that has a lot of depth, I believe this would be a good site to get some information from and insight as well. 
okay all right guys well this is smitty and i will holler at you guys later thanks for watching peace